Hello guys, I'm back again. It's me, Mujin Lord. I know it's been a while. You know, I've been handling a few things in the outside world. But I'm back with you guys with another tutorial. And this one, yes, is a exciting tutorial. That's right. This tutorial is about how to create a character. That's right. Your own Mujin character. There's been a lot of controversy going around for the past few months about me using other people's characters. You know? So I'm going to show everybody that I can create a character myself. And show that these people who go around thinking they're better than everybody because they, they can make characters. I can do characters too. I just choose not to. So, it's not only for me. It's for you guys who've been asking questions on how to make a character. And I couldn't give you guys the right answer. So now, once we go through this little tutorial level like that, you guys will know how to make a character. This is going to be part one. Because this is very huge. Because I'm still learning the functions of Fighter Factory. And how to, you know, the process and put all the sprites through and edit moves and stuff. So, let's begin. Okay, here we are guys, Fighter Factory. I said before we begin, this is what we do. We're going to have to insert the character polys and the, the SFF files, the SND files, and all of the required files that the character needs. So before we even insert any of the sprites and everything, you can go to the category on your left, where it says definitions. And this is where we start, where it says character name. Now, if you guys have any sprites or your hand-drawn characters, this is the character name that's going to be in the file. This is not the display name that's going to be on the character screen. So, the character name, I'm using Guy. Guy from Nanko S. Capcom. So, the character name is Guy. And, let's see. And, the, this box is the character name in game. This is the name that will show up when you pick the character and they pick the character within the game. So it's gonna be guy. Now, you scroll down to where it say author name, which is you, the creator. So type in Mujin Lord in this box right here. Mujin Lord in the author box. Now where it says standard palette order, this is the um, palette order for different colors that you for for the characters. For instance, you know how some characters have more than one color. So it needs more than one polys. So this right here already has a, um, a standard of five polys. Well, me, I'm gonna stick with one poly. It's gonna be one color of this version of guy. So I'm just gonna erase the other four. So one standard poly. Now we get to this section. This box will say S F F file name. Now all you got to do is this is the S F F file, and this is basically simple. You put the character name and the extension name, which is SFF. So, for instance, I put guy dot SFF. And you move down to the S and D file. The same thing. You put the character name and this extension name. Guy dot S and D. And keep going down. Guy dot air guy dot cmd and right here where it says cns file name constants right here all you will do is put constants dot cns and right here we have in uh, have in parentheses where it says states all you will put is states dot cns same thing for common Put common dot cns. Now the act palette. This is where you come up with the different palettes for the character, for the colors and stuff. Like I said, for guy, I only chose one palette. So I'm going to put guy dot act. If for you guys, we have probably have five different colors or whatever like that that you may choose. All you will put is guy act and then you make another line and put guy 2 dot act and make another line guy 3 dot act that's depending on how many numbers of polys that you're using so where say extra states and stuff may want to bother that right now we're going to leave that alone so next we're going to move on how to enter the character sprites okay so now we're going to insert the sprites so what we do is we go up to the top where it has close all, open the character, save all, 
create a backup file and definitions. We're going to move over to the box that says sprites. So you click on sprites. And now we need a new category called sprites in the left hand box. So here's everything. Here. Here's your interface on this side. Where we're going to go, we're going to select the PCX file where it says right here, this piece of paper where it says add. We're going to add the sprites. So we click add. So you find where you have your sprites at, doesn't matter where it's at. But the main thing is you make sure when you first find a sprite, you make sure you save it as a Xenosoft file. A Xenosoft file, which is right here. Right here, which is PCX. Dot, the extension is dot PCX. Make sure it's saved as that. That's the only way that's the only way you're able to upload them on Fighter Factory. So I'm gonna find it, find my file, guy. And first, we want to upload his fighter stance, which is here. Upload. Okay, so the next step is we're going to add some more sprites. I'm going to only add a few because it's only part one. And we're going to move on to different things as, as far as adding pilots and stuff on part two. So, right now, I'm going to add another sprite. So, I'm going to add guy's guard position. Add, okay, okay. So change it to second frame, guys guard position. Next frame, I'm gonna add guys icon. Now guys icon is, is the face picture icon that shows up on the character select screen. You know little faces. It shows up right here. Make sure it's small enough so it'll be able to fit in the character select screen. And then next, we're gonna go to add another sprite. We're gonna add his versus picture. You know you select your character and it shows the big versus picture that shows up on the screen. This is perfect right here. This is guys versus picture. So after that, we're gonna move on. Add another sprite. Damage position. Okay. So when he gets attacked, the position will look like this right here. Just that simple. But now, right here, we have five images posted up so far. But each each of them has to be placed in different groups. My fighter stance group is going to be group zero, and this is image zero. Because if they're all placed in the same group in the same image, when it's time to um, put everything together as far as animation, it, it's be hard to decipher which image belongs to what. So, for instance, this is fighter stance, so it's going to be group zero, image zero. This is guard stance, so it's going to be group one image zero this is fighter icon so this is going to be group two image zero and it's, this is his versus screen icon so this is going to be part of group two but this is going to be image one and we have his KO status so that's going to be part of group three image zero Now, that's it for part one of the Fighter Factor tutorial on how to create your own character. So far we learned how to add definitions to our characters, which is the SFF file, the CMD file, the constant file, the states file, and the common files and stuff. So, the next tutorial, which is part two, which we will be coming pretty soon, we're going to learn how to add the, the character palettes and how to actually get the characters to start getting some animation going on. So you guys stay tuned. Peace out.